Hello all, welcome to the AeroDump NG Scan Visualizer. This is an interesting tool which Pen Tester Academy has written and has released to the general public. And this tool is going to allow us to go ahead and visualize AeroDump NG scan data better. So in this video, we look at getting started with this tool. Now, why do we need this tool in the first place? So AeroDump NG is a fantastic tool, but if you used it a lot, you would note that anytime there are too many access points or clients in the neighborhood, it gets very, very difficult to go ahead and navigate the tool effectively and to be able to see what's there on the network. This is where AeroDump NG scan visualizer comes in. So how is the scan visualizer going to work? Let me give you an example. Now you would have run AeroDump NG with the Mon0 option and AeroDump NG would go ahead, find all the different access points around. Now in this case, the number of APs of course isn't much and we can clearly see them uh, within the screen. But as you notice, as the number of access points being discovered increases, uh, there is a chance of an overflow just like what we saw on the slide here. So how can we use AeroDump NG Scan Visualizer? Now AeroDump NG Scan Visualizer uses the scan results from AeroDump NG. So how do we go ahead and do that? Now, first is please download the AeroDump NG scan visualizer and unzip it. The scan visualizer is actually an Adobe Flex application. Very, very easy to use and pretty much can run from within any browser. So inside that, go ahead and open AeroDumpNG.html. You can use Chrome or Firefox. Just remember to have the latest version of the Flash Player. And there we go. The moment the scan visualizer starts, it gives you two options. The first is to give it a scan data file. And the second is to enter a URL. We'll come to both of these options in just a bit. Let's go back here. You can clearly see now it's difficult to navigate this. So the first step is to store all of these results into a CSV file. This can be done by using the hyphen W option, and giving a file prefix, let's say demo. Now, what basically happens if I hit a quick control C and look at the demo hyphen zero one dot CSV, all of this data is within this CSV file. Now, this is a very small file, so you aren't seeing the complexity yet, but look at the size of this file donated by my good friend, Phil Polstra and clearly see that the number of entries of clients, uh, access points and all of that is as huge. There is no way that you could have taken this scan and worked with it through AeroDump NG, right? We have roughly a thousand rows in this CSV. Now this is where once you've generated the CSV file, you can go ahead and browse for that CSV. So I'm going to use bu-01.csv, the one which we just saw over here. Hit open and then click analyze. And immediately AeroDump NG scan visualizer is going to look at all of that data and give you this beautifully formatted table. Now the columns of this table mirror the columns within the CSV, right? So if you kind of go back in here. Now, one of the other things which we've done is we've separated the networks from the roaming clients. Now, what we mean by a network is really an access points and its clients. 
while roaming clients are really clients which are not connected to any API. Apart from this data, we have charts, we have graphs, and you can also look at the raw data if you feel so. Now we'll be covering each of these sections in more detail in the coming videos. This video is just going to be an introduction on how to use the scan visualizer. So one of the things is, let's say you aren't interested in the signal column, then you could just click on the edit columns button and just remove signal from in there, right? Let's say you aren't interested in packets as well, you could remove those as well. This reduces the clutter of what is there in here. Now, it is also possible to rearrange columns. So let's say you would like to look at the ESSID, BSSID, and then the clients. So you can just drag the clients column and put it in here. And beautifully, you now have the clients column in there. Fantastic. Now, let's say you wanted to view all connected clients for an access point. So in this table, you can clearly see that this AP Bloom Use Secure with this BSSID has seven clients. If you wanted to look at the list of clients, all you have to do is double click on this row. And there you go. Now you have the list of clients. Again, you can change different things here. Don't want to look at the signal. We could just remove that. We aren't interested in the first and last scene as well. And there you go. Right? So this is for the networks and associated clients. Similarly, you have roaming clients where you have the client Mac, the packets and the probed SSIDs. You can go back in here, add whichever columns you would like to see or remove them. Let's say if all you're interested in is the client Mac and the probed SSID. There we go. Now we just have both of these. Fantastic. So this is how you can begin navigating these tables. You can also sort the table uh, by going ahead and clicking on the table, right? You can sort in either direction. The strings, of course, are going to be basically sorted by uh, the characters in there. The clients, the channel, of course, by the count. You can clearly see count here. Let's push it down. I'm going to go back in here. So this is the AP with the maximum number of clients. Channels, again, you know, depending on what you're doing, you can sort them. Again, by privacy, uh, by cipher, by authentication, whatever is available. Now, we also have a filter icon in here which we will cover separately, right? So here is what we have. Now, uh, how many minutes have we spent on this video? Eight minutes, I think this is good enough. In the next video, we'll look at a couple of other interesting features of the AeroDump NG scan visualizer. So hope you're enjoying this and if you are, please do recommend this video and this tool to your friends and colleagues in the InfoSec community. Thank you.